When I first came out here, it was I was 225 pounds of bodybuilding mass. Uh -huh. And then when I stepped out of shoes, 200,000 nerves on the feet was telling my body that I'm too heavy. He listened to his body and dropped over 50 pounds, now weighing in at only 170. So I just started following my feet and quit eating. Huh. And eat only when I got hungry. Eating only when hungry, Mix mastered the art of scavenging. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this. What is it? Beaver. That's beaver. Huh. Yeah, so something dragged it out here. This small patch of beaver fur puts Mick on high alert that a meal could be close by. Keep your eyes out for more of this, because more than likely a coyote or something else dragged that out here. When predators feed, they often drag the carcass. So Mick's hoping a larger chunk of meat is in the area. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackpot. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some larva. <coughs> kind of smells, huh? A little bit. Maggots are feeding on the beaver's decaying flesh. But after six days with little sustenance, Mick's ready to dig in. Let's get a fire going. What do you need a fire for? I'll show you. I'll show you what we need it for. Start uh, rubbing those two together. Get friction there so they get hot. Yeah, faster, faster. While you're doing that, I'll use a match here. <laughs> well, of course, you had matches. Get all these nice little larvae in here. Yeah. We'll send them up a little bit, and then we'll have a high source of protein. Thing about fishing, we may not catch any, so this may be the main meal, or this may be the appetizer. I'm game. Mick cooks the maggots over the fire, long enough to kill off bacteria from the beaver carcass. Huh? Mm. Oh, wow. Good, isn't it? <laughs> kind of tastes bacony. <laughs> yeah.